Action matchup. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Boom! Lands a big right hand early. Oh, massive right hand! So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Big body kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Knee to the body. Well, how about this striking display tonight as he lands yet another knee right there. Several have already landed in this round, and you can see the... He's gonna try to take him down. There you go. Oh, he slams his opponent to the canvas. I think the octagon is shaking, DC. The octagon was shaking. Somebody secure the doors <laughs> because they are going to blow the roof off of this place. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Continues to eat power shots here. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight, lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Able to check that kick as well. Beautiful body kick. Oh, he lands a huge move to the body. Guys landing at a pretty decent clip. the takedown no problem so he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here these are going to take their toll as this fight goes off oh! so a strong five minutes down Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Watch knees to the body. And there's another takedown attempt. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Much behind the takedown offering there. Knee to the body, now it's blocked. Big knee there to the chest. That one is thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Big knee to the body. Nice. Oh, nice knee to the body. Just what he needed there. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Oh, nice slam as he gets him to the canvas. Exactly what he needed. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. 
Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Elbow deep takes it for a ride. What a high impact takedown that was. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Attempting a choke now. Set up that head kick. Shot a double leg. Oh, high amplitude slam for him there. Wow. How about the speed on that reversal? Gotta watch his neck. Oh, he's attacking choke now. So inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, the ground and pound is there. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Quick level change now. He went single into a high crotch. Oh, he's taking his new for a ride. Oh, Takes him for a ride. Slams him on his back. What a takedown. How's that feel to be on the wrong end of that? Not, I mean, I'm just that <laughs> I do not know. Never... <laughs> now he's masterful from here. Oh, he went to a single switch to a high crotch. Oh, oh deep. Flips him over the top. What a huge takedown. I mean, do I survive that or did no, I read my not, last right? Absolutely not. You don't survive that. Well, one got through, that kick was broken. What a fight! 
This is a good fight. Close fight. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight. For my money, I think the stock of both individuals goes up. But certainly one guy was able to take the other down repeatedly tonight. Having that ability to take the fight to the ground is what is going to earn him the victory. I thought it was a great fight. I thought it was a fun fight. But those timely takedowns are going to get his hand raised. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. For the winner by split decision, Hobbsat Borges Kumbaya! All right, well, congratulations to him there, and I think five years from now, they'll forget that <laughs> it was a split and not a unanimous decision, but that was a close fight. I mean, that was a very close fight, and that's the most uncomfortable decision in the world, to walk to the center not knowing if you did enough to get the job done. Four